Travis County has a new plan to put more resources and money into Northeast Austin. They just got the green light to do this last week. As our Jayla Washington reports, these are ongoing efforts to deal with systemic issues affecting mostly black and brown people who live there. Northeast Austin is where many of Austin's black and Latino residents live. It's muy bueno. It just makes me feel at home. People like Stephanie Gonzalez don't want to live anywhere else. I think there is room in pr for improvement. Travis County is now taking real action to make sure those who call this community home can not only stay, but thrive. What we're trying to construct is a policy framework. Uh, the idea is uh, that there are a lot of very effective programs uh, that are operating independently of each other. Last week, Travis County passed a Marshall Plan co-resolution with the city of Austin. It'll pinpoint the best ways to invest and fund resources in Northeast Austin. Most of the Northeastern corridor uh, was has been affected by redlining, lack of access to credit, lack of access to uh, government resources. And the only time it seems that they gain access is when they're gentrified. We want to make sure that we address their needs before gentrification. Think of it as a community master plan that has everything a community needs in one area. We had identified all of the places where we have made investment. Travis County has already done some work to provide more resources, partnering with the Central Texas Food Bank for food distributions, free health clinics and more. But the Marshall Plan would make resources like these more permanent and consistent. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. And Travis County submitted a $250,000 budget request in the fiscal year 24 budget process to help with the creation of project plan and a financial model. The resolution that just passed also calls for community-led planning.